Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. In Java, you can gather user input using the scanner class, which is a part of the java.util package. This class provides methods to read different types of data, including integers, from various input sources, such as keyboard input. Hashtag 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 tutorial, reading integer input from the user in Java. Hashtag 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 step 1, import the scanner class. Before you can use the scanner class in your Java program, you need to import it. Hashtag 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 step 2, create a scanner object. You create an instance of the scanner class to read input. Typically, you will create it with system.in to read from the console. Hashtag 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 step 3, use the scanner to read input. You can use the next int method of the scanner class to read an integer input from the user. Hashtag 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 step 4, close the scanner. It's a good practice to close the scanner object after you're done using it to free up system resources. Hashtag 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 example code. Here is a simple Java program that demonstrates how to read an integer input from the user. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. One import statement. Import java.utility scanner allows us to use the scanner class. Two main method. The entry point of the Java application is the main method. 3. Creating scanner object. Scanner scanner equals new scanner, system.in, creates a new scanner object that will read from the standard input, keyboard. 4. Prompting for input. System.out.print, please enter an integer, displays a message to the user, asking them to enter an integer. 5. Reading input. Int user input equals scanner.nextInt, reads an integer from the user and stores it in the user input variable. 6. Displaying output. System.out.println, you entered, plus user input, prints the integer that the user entered. 7. Closing the scanner. Scanner.close, closes the scanner object to prevent resource leaks. Hashtag 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 tips for handling input errors. When dealing with user input, it's a good idea to handle potential exceptions that might occur, such as when a user enters a non-integer value. You can use a try-catch block for error handling. Hashtag 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 conclusion. In this tutorial, you learned how to read integer input from the user in Java using the scanner class. You also learned how to handle input errors gracefully. This is a fundamental skill when creating interactive Java applications.